All right, this is Ms. Pye again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform your graphs when you can't just click on it and move it around. Um, all right, so let's do, let's see, several of my classes, they wanted me to show them how to do the little curves of the ribbon. If I look at that, I'm going to say, hey, that kind of looks like a cubic function. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my tab. Oh, wait, I'm in an equation. I don't want equations. I want functions. So I'm going to go menu, three, and function, okay? And I'm going to do a cubic function. So x cubed, and I have no idea what type of transformations I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna to try to stretch it like I did my, line, my linear and my quadratic, okay? But if you look at this, okay, let me move my formula. If I look at this, let me see, where is my graph? cross or my thing so I can change the slope. Notice it's not giving you any of that stuff. Try clicking on it and moving it. Nope, not going to move, okay? So cubic functions are ones that you have to actually change the formula up here in order to change your graph here. You can't just click on it and drag it to where you want it and change the shape, okay? So I'm going to see, okay, so let's see. I need to go one, two, three maybe 3.5 to the right. So to move it right or left, I'm going to put parentheses around my x, and I'm going to add or subtract straight to the x. So because I'm moving it to the left, it's going to be a plus how many, however far I want this center point to move. So let's see, 1, 2, 3.5, I think is what I said. So plus 3.5. And then I said that I want the center point down maybe 2. So then to move it down, I'm going to, whoops, wow, I'm going to move it out here, and I'm going to do a minus 2, okay? So notice I did a minus there, not a negative. All right, so minus 2, and I'm going to push enter. All right, so I was actually trying to get with this curve here, but managed to get that curve there, which, you know what, I'm not going to, put, I'm not going to change that because, hey, it looks pretty good. I might have to cut it off right here on my limit. But other than that, that, that's really, really close to what I want. All right, so let's go ahead and set the limit on that. And let's see, I will tell you a lot of these that have vertical lines are very difficult to set your limits on because you cannot limit the Y values. You can only limit the X values. So I'm going to say my X value here is going to be maybe... Um, let's see, one, two, three, maybe negative four. And then to here, from here, uh, probably, let's see, negative four to negative 2.5, maybe. All right, so let's see how I'm going to do the limit. So again, your uh, control equals to pull up that such as line. And we said negative four. And then control equals again, less than or less than or equal to x. Control equals again, less than or less than or equal to, we said, what did we say? 1, 2, 3.5, negative 3.5 maybe. Okay. So I put get that in there. And you know what? I can't hardly see that line. Let me change the color so it's easier to see. Menu, actions. Set conditions. It's this line, I think, right here, wherever. There it is. Let's make it something easy to see. So, seven. We want to change that line color to seven. There we go. So, now that's the only part of the graph that's showing. That's why it was so hard to see there. Okay, so I definitely need to expand um, my limits. Oops, I don't want that. Cancel, I don't want that. Let's escape. We're done changing colors. Sorry, we click double click on that. We're going to change our limit to maybe negative 4.5. Okay, that's getting a little bit longer. Okay, maybe it's closer to five, negative 5. Let's just stick with negative 5. Wow, that's way too long. So you can see that from 4.5, it was way up here, and then from 5, it started going way down here. So there was a huge difference there. So instead of negative 5, maybe negative 4.75. And you will have to go ahead and adjust, keep adjusting that 
by smaller and smaller increments until you get it exactly where you want it. Uh, negative 7.5 was too little, so let's do 0.85. Okay, so that's probably pretty good there. And then I can get another formula, linear equation to get that little point here, here, and here. Okay, so you can see a lot of these linear functions, or not linear, the uh, cubic functions, there are several functions that you cannot just pick it up and move it like we can the linear and quadratic, okay? Um, and limiting them is a little bit more complicated too. All right, so I hope you found that video helpful. I will talk to you later. Bye.